Hey everyone. So, um, hi. You may notice that there's a really cool background here. Uh, and that is our Twitch countdown background. So basically what's going to happen is... Oh, excuse me. I have a cold. I'm still fighting off a cold. Basically what's going to happen is you guys are going to see... Um, this when we start streaming uh, on February 13th. So that's February 13th, 2019 at... 10 p.m. Eastern Time, we're going to start streaming our first game of our new campaign, uh, Beneath the Tide, which is Pirates. And we're going to start streaming at 10 p.m. Eastern Time, and you guys are going to see this, which will be counting down to the stream. And I'll usually put this about 20, 10 minutes before we start streaming. So it'll be a 10 minute countdown timer where I'll talk to y'all before the stream begins. Pretty simple. Um, what else? Over here in the left corner, you'll see the Twitch address, which I recommend everybody follow come the stream day, because we'll be doing some cool stuff for the streams. People who follow and subscribe eventually and donate will get some giveaways when we start doing those. And you'll also get shoutouts, and you can take part in our games if you follow the Twitch channel and donate and subscribe and everything. So follow that, get in on our viewer games when we start doing those. The right hand corner is obviously the Minimix and Monstrosity's Twitter account, which I will start updating more when we start tweeting. From once we start streaming with that channel, um, in the upper corner you'll see the countdown music by Ross, who is the background music you just heard. That'll be our countdown music for the time being until I can pay to get our own. But that music is copyright free, royalty free by Ross Bugden. Uh, so you definitely should check out his stuff on the internet. It's really good music. Um, so let's get down to the brass tacks to what you're all here for. You all are here for, which is. Mimics and Monstrosities is going to start streaming next month. And this is our 2019 sort of um, schedule, idea, plan. We had a lot of cool stuff planned for 2019. So here, I'll just add that to this. And I'll just pull up the schedule so you guys can see it. Let me just fan where I saved that picture. Because I don't remember. There it is. That's a big one. That's big, isn't it? It's huge. But yeah, so I'll put this over here in this corner. So as you guys can see, this is the schedule that stands right now. It's not too in-depth. And I'm DMing all those games. <laughs> so uh, it's a little... It's a, lo it's a lot. Um, but I'm excited. And I'm looking to fill out every day on that schedule. So Mondays... First off, since we have nothing there, Mondays at 7 p.m. And these are all in Eastern Time, so everybody knows Eastern Time. Uh, 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time, we have the Peacock Court, which is going to be this game I co-DM with Muse, who you've seen on this channel. He plays, um, he plays Portobellum in the city below, if you want to watch our YouTube campaign. And he also played Ula, so who tragically died on, like, session four. So he's co that with me, and it's basically a contract assassin campaign where viewers will actually get to play with us. So, like I said, follow the channel. And uh, send us, and then once you follow the channel, send us your Twitch name and everything, Twitter username. And if you're a member of our Discord, please join the Discord, which will be down, down below. Joining the Discord also helps you net a spot into these viewer games. But, um, yeah, this one will have myself co-DMing, Muse co-DMing, and then we'll have a regular cast member. And then the other two spots will always be filled by um, guests or audience members. Audience members will get to play with us in this, and you have a better chance of getting picked if you are one in our Discord as a member. And two, you're a follower on the channel, and once we get subscriptions on on Twitch, a subscriber. So you do all those, you have a better chance of getting in, getting in contact with us. Once this, and then once that starts going, we'll also release a form you can fill out with your character information on it, just to make everything easier, and if we can balance parties out week per week. Uh, so that's going to be fun, and yeah, it's co DM. So one week I'll be running a contract because you are a contract assassin in D and D, and we've ran a one shot of this. Uh, this setting on the channel, which uh, I'll link below as well. You can watch that one shot called The Peacock Court, where you play contract assassins, all evil characters. It's really exciting. Um, so we're doing that Mondays, 
I think I said Mondays, yes. Mondays at 7 p.m. Eastern Time till 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, the time could fluctuate a few hours, but uh, it won't impede another show that takes up that spot. Originally, I had something planned for that slot, but it got taken away, so yeah. I'll be playing in Peacock Court when I'm not doing it, when I'm not DMing, which thank God I get to play. I already have a character lined up. He's amazing. Uh, I can tease the art for that, actually. I'm going to tease the art for the character that I'm playing. Because why not? Why not? No, I'm not. Fuck it. I'm going to get a surprise. Um, so that's fun. And yeah, the viewers getting on that Peacock Court. And then. You'll see Tuesdays at 10 p.m. That looks like the Resident Evil Umbrella logo, doesn't it? So, Tuesdays at 10 p.m. till, well, now the 10 p.m. shows, 1, 1 a.m. is the rough estimate ending, but those shows can actually go on because they are the last show in the schedule for the day. We won't stream anything past those. So if a show ends at 1 a.m. in the morning or once at 3 a.m., there won't be another show. We'll probably do reruns, but that's about it. Um... But 10 p.m. on Tuesdays, you guys can watch The Fall of Raccoon, which is going to be a really fun uh, campaign I'm running, uh, which is based on the Resident Evil series. And it's using an RPG system of my making called Terror Tale, which we'll be running a one-shot of come February. Before we begin the, the next campaign, I'll be running a one-shot of this to sort of test out the system and uh, also do a backdoor pilot for that one shot, or for that campaign, called, uh, yeah, so it's called Fall of Raccoon, and it's basically, uh, the players will be playing, uh, not Citizens of Raccoon City, because that's boring, they'll be playing Umbrella, Secret Service, Secret, Security, Security Soldiers, you know, like, similar to Hulk, Hulk, fuck, I can't talk, similar to Hunk and Alpha Team, they'll be playing as their own team, sent into Raccoon City the day of the outbreak to try to contain it, and extract some stuff and deal with the fall of Raccoon City. Pretty simple. That's pretty simple. So it's basically I'm using my RPG system Terror Tale. We'll probably go over the rules of it before we begin streaming it. While we stream it the first session, we'll go over the rules. Pretty simple. Um, Wednesdays at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, we're going to stream the Dungeons of the Mad Mage game that we're running on the channel right now. We're going to switch to streaming that. So that's fun. we got a cast for that already. Dungeon of the Mad Mage. It's simple. It's the latest adventure by Wizards of the Coast. And it's awesome. And I love it. And we're streaming that. And I look like a D&D &D professor right now. <laughs> um, and then uh, you'll see there's a gap at 7 p.m. I'm going to try to fit something in there. I don't know what yet. But Wednesdays are looking like it's going to be the main day for streaming. Because that's one of the days I'm off work. Tuesdays, Tuesdays you probably won't see anything by me from 11 till 7, or 11 till 9, because I get off work at 9, 9 p.m. on Tuesdays, so you probably won't see me much on Tuesdays, uh, but Wednesdays, again, there's a gap at 7 p.m. to 9 p.m., so if somebody wants to take that gap, message me, please, uh, but 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. is where we'll be running the core campaign again, uh, right now the core campaign is the city below, but we're going to be doing a little bit of something different. Uh, come February 13th, we'll be doing a pirate campaign called Beneath the Tide. The characters are already made up. They got art for them. They're fantastic. You know what? Fuck it. That stream's happening soon. How about we show the character right off for that? Let me pull it up and see if I can find it. Let's see if I can find the character art. Because if I, I, if I, if I was smart, I would have saved it. Right? I would have saved it, but I didn't, so that's fantastic. Actually, you know what? I do have a file of it, though. So here. Basically, here's the character art. So you got me, which is a picture somebody drew of me as a dungeon master, which is great. And then you have Kate, who is playing that tabaxi. You have Muse, who is playing that shark person, who is he's once again, I don't know if it's reluctantly, but uh, helping me test out one of my uh, homebrew player races. I'm going to try the Karkarian, or the Short Folk, and then we have Garrett, who you guys know as he's recently been recent addition to the cast, of our core cast. He's playing Baxter in the city below, but he'll be playing um, that little goblin. And then we have Sam, who everybody knows is everyone's favorite dwarf bard, Gundar, will be playing that character with a trident, who I'm also very excited about. So yeah, 
that's the, basically the cast get up for campaign two. So you guys know what they're playing. And I'm, I'm sure no one's going to be upset that I shared that, because I've already shared it on Twitter and everything, and that's fine and dandy. Um, what else? So that's that. Beneath the title, we are Pirate Core Campaign uh, after City Below ends. So speaking of the City Below, uh, I'm uploading this video tonight, so by the time you guys watch this, City Below will probably be about to record its penultimate episode tomorrow. So tomorrow night we're recording the penultimate episode um, and releasing it on Friday. But I can't wait to start streaming it because I don't have to say this anymore. But yeah, so we're recording the penultimate episode of The City Below tomorrow, and then the week after that, so next week, we'll be recording the finale of The City Below, and we got two one-shots. So if The City Below is about to end, and I am excited. I'm sad because it's a pirate campaign, and because I really, really, really like the characters we've been playing. I'm going to miss Gundar. Um, so that's that. That's our main campaign. That's the one I'm going to pimp out the most. That's the one I put all the thought into, all the work into, because it's my baby, and it's the core cast, and it's the core campaign, and it's what started in July when we started this whole thing, so that whole cast and the whole campaign with that is very dear to me. And then Thursdays at 2 p.m., we'll be doing the game I'm excited about, well, very sort of excited because it's an experiment kind of thing, and that is the a game called Where We Dream, and that is also Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. Now, we're not all going to be running D&D &D, D &D 5e, uh, it's popular most of my DND 5e right now in the schedule. This is a 2019 schedule, so it could be subject to change uh, at the end of 2019 or elsewhere because some of these shows might not be full year shows. They might be a couple months or something like that. But for right now, this is the initial stream schedule until we start getting more shows. But uh, Where We Dream is going to be basically a 5e campaign that the viewers, you, get to influence through donations. Um... So that's the thing that's going to be interesting. It's going to be a donation kind of thing. So we'd have like some channels out there do like donate money to give someone, you know, like an automatic fail, an automatic success, or wild magic surges. But uh, Where We Dream is a 5e campaign setting, which will have a core cast. But uh, we will bring in the people who follow the channel and subscribe to the channel and who donate to the channel. So the people who support the channel um, by like, you know, following, retweeting, subscribing, you know, helping us continue this whole thing of running this channel, because the ideal point of Mimics and Monstrosities is to get this going as a career, a viable income source for myself and the others who take part in it. And Where We Dream is going to be the game that is the viewer sort of game, because there's you know, channels out there that you can, that people have let the audience influence the campaign, let the in, influence the game. So, rambling. Where We Dream takes place in the mind of a crazy wizard, and it is a dream state, so he brings people into these dreams, into his dream world, and he tries to kill them, and if they die in the dream, he absorbs them, all their abilities, everything, but he also absorbs their personality, so he has, like, so this wizard is incredibly insane, his mind is just absolutely broken, because his brain is filled with all the personalities of the people he's killed, so he's got severe multiple personality, uh, and he's, yeah, bringing these people from all over the D&D multiverse, so that means if you want, if you play in the game as a viewer, um, your character can come from any setting of D&D you want, minus some settings. Uh, I don't think I want characters from like the critical role setting, just because I don't want to impede on another stream and another entity, but you can come from Eberron, you can come from, you know, anywhere in D&D, Ravenloft if you want, you can come from even my home brood setting if you watch that stuff. Um, more information will be up with that when we start getting a better following, because like you want, I don't want to run that game when we don't have a following, because it it won't it won't work that well. But obviously, you can still run it and still alter the dream state uh, without donations. Because here's how that's going to happen. Uh, so if you donate through the ten dollar tier, you can donate something called a success, an instant success, or an instant fail. So you donate for ten dollars. You write in your tip note or donation note, like I want to give an instant ability fail to so-and-so. So, -and -so. so on, their, on that character's next ability check, they instantly fail or they instantly succeed, depending on what you choose to give them. And each character can only hold a maximum of five. That way it's not broken. Like, oh, this person's going to fill their next 50 ability checks. No. So you can donate, say you donate enough money to give them five straight fail ability fails, they'll fail, instantly fail their next five ability checks. So it's a bit fucked up, but it's going to be a bit interesting to see how that works out. 
And then at the $20 tier, which is the only other donation tier for that, you can donate whatever you want. But at the other donation tier, which is $20, that is called a, that'll be the uh, dream state alteration. And since this is taking place in a dream state, you can alter the dream any way you choose when you, when you donate. You can basically say, for example, say the characters are on a boat and they're traversing an ocean. You could donate, you know, do the donation and say, I would like the boat to just vanish. And the boat would just vanish and they would all be trapped in the middle of the ocean. Or they're in a room figuring out a puzzle, and you donate and say, I want the room to be filled with water. And that's what happens. So that's basically what happens. It's basically the viewers are... So the whole the gimmick is is that the viewers are playing the multi-personality mind of the wizard. That's the whole concept. It's wild, it's wacky, I'm going to get a core cast for it. We're going to play it, um, and we're going to help the donations and that make it work. So yeah, again, not in it all, not in it just to make money. But I think it's a really cool concept, and it'll be something to help the channel make money and to keep this thing going for me and for people who play. Uh, and yeah, that's basically the shows we have planned for right now in 2019. That's really not a lot. But once once we figure things out and get going and the schedule opens up more for people, we can figure out games like Call of Cthulhu and Vampire the Masquerade and other systems, systems we really want to try out. Um, now... I will say, so I'm going to pull the schedule again. For the 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Wednesday slot, there was an idea I had about getting guest DMs in to do like a four arc game every month. Uh, but that's still open to interpretation. And same with Thursdays from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. I kind of wanted to run a uh, sort of like a, or 7 p.m. to 5, 9 p.m. I wanted to run like a. Uh, weird like DM chat room kind of thing where DMs go together and they talk about homebrewing. But that's basically it. That's the schedule for 2019. There's really not a lot to dive into there, but there is some stuff and it's fun stuff to show because we are we will be using Streamlabs come stream day. So when you with Streamlabs we can get a lot of cool stuff to happen. So if someone donates, it'll actually pop up on the stream. Um I can't show you guys here, but let me just do some. Let me do some digging around and show you guys what we can do here. Um, let me just see if I can f do something real quick. I apologize for the slowness of this, but this is so we can get alerts going because this is what I'm going to talk to you guys in before the show begins. So, yeah. Okay, so basically, this is going to do some stuff when donations pop in. And if it works, I am a magician. Thanks yeah, see? So, um, yeah, we're use, we'll be using uh, Streamlabs now to do that kind of stuff. So when you follow the channel, it'll pop up. When you subscribe, it'll pop up. So, yeah, see? Boom. It'll pop up when you subscribe. Um, and when you donate, it'll also pop up with how much money you donated. This is the test dollars. donation for CA dollar. Um, so that'll pop up too when you donate. Um, and with the donation notes, that's where you write, like, I want this to happen, I want this to happen, or this is who I want to have negative and positive ability check stuff. So yeah, we're using Streamlabs. I'm super excited for it. Um, super excited to get this going. And yeah, guys, um, February 13th at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. I'll see you guys all then. But yeah, please be sure to follow the Twitch channel to actually get in on all this action and to get part in the viewer games and play with us, because that's what I want to do. I want more people playing D&D. Doesn't matter your skill level, doesn't matter, you know, how much you know about D&D. Um, just that you're a nice person and you're not a dick. It's the only rules we have about D&D. Be a nice person, don't be a dick. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm JW Ross on Twitter at J-W-R-O-S-S-S. -S -S. And yeah, be sure to follow the Twitch channel because this is going to YouTube, and most of you watch this on YouTube, so yeah. And for the people that are on the Discord watching this, twitch.tv slash mimics and monstrosities, N, N, mimics, N, monstrosities, and at Twitter at mimics, N, monstros. So yeah, I'll see you guys Friday when we record the episode, but uh, I look forward to seeing you all in stream February 13th. Toodles.